Ms. Oma, and today I'm going to be starting off my YouTube channel with um, some inspirational stuff for some baby shower gift baskets and gift favors. Um, I am helping my sister-in-law get all that kind of stuff ready for her upcoming baby shower. So I figured what better way um, to start my channel off than with something positive. Um, you know, we are going through some crazy stuff in the world right now. So I wanted to do something positive, something happy. I'm hoping to post some more baby related things in the future, but I figured this would be a perfect way to start things off. So without further ado, I'm going to be showing you guys, I think we're going to start off with the gift favors first. Um, towards the end of the video too, I will show you guys what they look like all put together. We haven't gotten around to doing that just yet, but, um, we do have roughly three more weeks before the baby shower. So of course I just want to make sure we had everything prepared beforehand, but let me, um, let me get started with, um, the actual gift bags themselves. So the theme that my brother and sister-in-law have is a woodland theme and, these were the cute little gift favor bags that we got courtesy of Amazon. I can leave all the links down below, but these did come in a 12 pack and I believe they were roughly 15, 16 bucks a pack. I did end up getting four of those um, just because we're not exactly sure on how many people are coming yet. Um, it is going to be smaller, um, but I just wanted to make sure I was prepared. And then to go inside of those gift um gift bags we did get these cute little kate aspen the little adventure awaits uh favor boxes these are so tiny so cute uh, let me show you see if i can get it without the glare they're very 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 tiny and then in the back it kind of shows you like little pictures of what they look like like i mentioned i'll leave everything linked down below just so you can get a better idea um these came in a 24 pack i got two of these and I believe these are also roughly 15 bucks a pack as well. Then what I got, um, so it comes in this happy, love, sweet, cute little, little packaging, but these are the gift um, thank you cards. So I wanted to show you these. We, I think this is the one that's actually not open. Let me show you the open one. But, um, so I wanted to get these early on just so we can start getting things prepared. You know, with Amazon, things do sell out. So I want to make sure we had everything in time. So this is what they look like. Once again, woodland theme. So there's a cute little deer on them and some stickers. And then we also have these. It's a really cute, like almost lime green um, for the envelopes. And then another thing that we got, my sister-in-law had a lot of good ideas for this stuff. Um, and I'm sorry about the, the noise of the boxes. I hate it too, but you know, we're working with what we got. So these are little stickers. Let me see if you guys can see them. It just says, thank you for showering our little one with love. And it's also woodland themed. This came in a pack of, I wanna say there was 40 in here. I can't remember exactly, but these are roughly nine bucks. Um, and I forgot to say the thank you cards, I believe are also around 15 or so bucks. Most of the stuff that I got was around the 15 to $20 range, but I'll leave everything linked so you guys can check it out for yourself. Um, then another thing is, so something very, you know, relaxing, of course, is some form of scrub. I don't remember if we're doing a lip scrub or a body scrub. But I'm going to show you the little glass mason jars we got them in. And I'm so sorry for the background noise. This is just daily life. You know, I keep everything very realistic. You know, I'm not perfect whatsoever. So you are, you know, going to see a lot of interruptions. And But it's okay. We'll work with it. So I got these very, very cute little mason jars. They're freaking adorable. And in here, we're going to put the scrubs in them. Um, it is going to be a eucalyptus scrub. Um, I forgot exactly what the recipe was that my sister-in-law was using, but if I remember, I will let you guys know. Uh, these came in a 40 pack, um, and they were, I think, 21, 22 bucks. And then those little stickers that we got, we're actually going to plan on putting them on some of these uh, mason jars as well as some other things within the gift favors, just to make it cute, you know. And then we also... 
got some lavender and little sashes. So these are the little sashes that the lavender goes in. This box, by the way, smells absolutely incredible. I wish you guys could smell it yourselves. But this is, I think this is a whole pound. I don't remember exactly how much it was, but it smells absolutely amazing. My sister-in-law really loves lavender, so we thought this would be a really cute idea, you know, to put some put some lavender sachets in there. And of course, it's gonna keep all your stuff smelling nice and good. Um, let's see if it says it on the box. No, it doesn't say exactly how much it is, but if I'm not mistaken, it is a pound and it fits 40 of those little sachets exactly, which is perfect. And then, so as you saw, we had those little cute little gift favor boxes. In those, we plan on putting some little chocolates. So I did go to Big Lots. Um, like I mentioned, I don't know if that's something prevalent outside of Michigan or not, but I got two things of candy. So I got this bag of 100 pieces. This was 16 bucks, I believe. And then... I got another one, 55 pieces, it's roughly 10 bucks. So it's just a cute little addition, you know, who doesn't who doesn't love chocolate? So we're gonna add that in there. And then we're also planning on doing some little caramel uh, popcorn. So I got two of these actually, these were five bucks a piece. I also got these at Big Lots. Um, I'm not sure exactly what type of little bags we're gonna be using for them. I did get, um, some bags just from the dollar store. Let me show you. So I got these, uh, ooh, these loot bags. And of course we can cut them down. But I think she might have actually gotten some other ones that go with the theme. And then I got these ones just in case. These are the zipper seal bags. Also a dollar from the dollar store. We could always reuse them for something else. Um, and then... We were also thinking, ooh, uh, because we didn't know, we were having a hard time, and I say we as in me, I was having a very hard time finding caramel popcorn, um, which is very strange because a lot of stores near us, they start setting up for fall like around August, end of August, early September. So I did end up getting, let me show you from the front, it's a peanut M&M's. These are 12 bucks at Costco who once again, doesn't love chocolate. I got these, we could always put them in there or we could just save them for something else. Um, you know, but it's just a nice option to have. And like I mentioned, those were 12 bucks. So let me look around, see if there's anything else for gift favors. I think that is everything once it comes to the gift favors. If I forget anything, I'm gonna go back and show you, but I'm pretty much just trying to, trying to go with the flow. You know, we'll make the best that we possibly can. So um, I'm going to go ahead on to the gift baskets. The gift baskets themselves, I bought at Hobby Lobby. They were on sale for 50% off. So they're originally 12 bucks. They are currently six bucks. So I got two of these wicker baskets um, for the actual baskets that we're making. And of course, um, I think we're going to need more. I'm not 100% sure. My sister-in-law has gotten some other things too, just to kind of make things a little more creative. And it's not like your traditional gift basket type deal. Um, just because we're still unsure how many people are coming, but we want to have just a variety of different things. So in one of the gift baskets, I'm going to start with this one. So one of the first ones is going to be a wax warmer. And I got an electric wax warmer from Big Lots. This was 15 bucks. And it says live, laugh, love, but of course you can't see it all the way around. And I'm so sorry for the glare. I'm I'm not perfect at this. I'm gonna figure out how to do it better for y'all, but this is what we got going so far. Then to go with that, I got two of the wax mounts. I got the Yankee Candle Pink Island Sunset for three and a half bucks and the Fresh Apple. All right, guys, sorry for the small intermission. My brother and sister-in-law actually just stopped by. They brought some more stuff. So I'm going to show you guys what they brought um, later in the video. I'm going to continue with what I was showing you. So the last thing I was showing you was um, these wax melts. Um, like I mentioned, I got them for three and a half bucks at Big Lots. Definitely hit them up if you can. They're a lot cheaper than other stores. And the stuff is kind of hit or miss. So 
I'm thinking it's whatever they get they have and it's always discounted um but yeah then um with that one we were thinking of putting some wine and I did just get the winking owl Moscato from Aldi um also it's an international store so I'm pretty sure it's not just in Michigan because when we were in Austria they definitely had it but in other states I don't know then also to go with that basket I got this little plush pillow or not plush pillow it's a plush towel towel throw whatever you want to call it these are so stinking nice by the way sorry if I'm looking at my watch I'm getting text but um they're very very soft I have one right behind me that white one I actually gave it to a little kitty cat friend so that's her new towel they're very nice very comfortable love them um and then let me see what kind of chocolate I was gonna put in that one uh, if I can find it oh so let's start with this so the double wall wine glass I got that um for the wine this was I want to say five or six bucks the wine was two and a half bucks and the towel was just under eight bucks and then oh, I got these little chocolates too to go in that gift basket and they're just the Moser Roth fine truffles milk chocolate also from Aldi um these are two and a half three bucks I believe then um another basket idea that we had was to do one that's kind of like fall themed so i just picked up some random fall stuff i don't have everything yet but we're getting there so um i got two different candles i don't know if we're maybe going to split up some of this stuff into two but i got multiples of some things just in case so i do have the cap off it, it smells really freaking good. I'm not a huge fan of fall, but this one smells really, really good. It is the Warm Pumpkin Spice. It's six bucks from Big Lots. And then I got, this is the exact same one, just different packaging. Also six bucks. Got that. Um, and then I did get another candle. All right, we'll get to it when I find it. But to continue with the fall theme, one of the baskets is going to have this creamer in it. It's the new pumpkin spice. Well, not new. It's the seasonal one from uh, Coffee Mate. So I got that. I did get these new Milano cookies. Uh, I forgot to say creamer was two and a half bucks. Um, but the Milano, there's the new caramel macchiato ones. These ones I got at Meyer. I think these are around three bucks. They're the same price as regular Milano's. And then... At Target, I also got this pumpkin spice coffee, and I just realized it's actually decaffeinated, but this smells absolutely amazing. You can literally smell it through the packaging. This was $5.99. And then I also got these Ghirardelli Squares premium chocolate assortment, and it's just um, a variety of them. These ones I also got at Big Lots, and they were three and a half bucks. And then I also got some little mini M&Ms and some Hershey's. These were roughly $1.25 each. So then continuing, uh, we have a couple different basket ideas. So I think this is going to be another one where we're going to try to put it um, with one of our mugs. I'm not 100% sure. Some of the stuff we know for sure. Other things are kind of like we're trying to figure out what we're going to do with it. But this is just another one of the chocolates. I figured I would get it is the Godiva chocolate. Godiva is really, really good. This was four bucks. They're the chocolate domes in milk chocolate crispy hazelnut. And then, okay. I got this really, really cute little mug. I got two different mugs, but this is one of them. This one is super, super cute. It's a little sloth or koala type deal. Um, it was five bucks also at Big Lots. Very, very cute um okay then um i got another candle it's a cinnamon sugar cookie this one was also six bucks from big lots very cute and they all smell really good if you're into fall scents you're absolutely gonna love them i'm not the biggest fan of fall scents but there's definitely some of them that i really like i also got another mug this mug is absolutely adorable sorry i should probably straighten up but 
It's very, very cute. It's like a seahorse, kind of like an underwater type theme. These are five bucks. And then I'm gonna go into some of like the skincare beauty stuff that we got. I think that is what's next if I'm looking around me correctly. So one of these bags, let's start off, let's start off with this one. I'm just gonna put it right in front of me. So I got the, ooh, the hemp and hydration cream. It's a hemp seed oil, rose hip oil cream. I also got this at Big Lots. It is three bucks. I also got, I got a couple of these. They're the hemp uh, body lotion, body wash duos. This one is in tea tree oil. Um, I also got one in coconut oil. and one in rosehip oil as well and they do come with a little loofah these were a dollar 25 a piece at meyer i got one of these just a regular plain old bath bomb in beach bungalow and that was three bucks i really couldn't pass this one up i just thought it was cute so it's so beautiful, you know, get it? It's a nice little pun. So this is a dollar. Um, it is a lip balm in the favor, flavor of vanilla latte. And then I got a whole bunch of these. These are really, really good. I actually gave my sister-in-law one to try out. They're the shower bursts. This one's in relaxing lavender. I'm so sorry. This glare is horrible, but you know what? We're going with it. And then I also got one in eucalyptus. And I just got a bunch of those. I have a bunch of others and a couple other bags. Then I also got, and I forgot to say these were a dollar each. Um, and then I also got this like foot scrub pedicure set. It was only five bucks. And then the last thing that I'm selling here is actually the last candle I bought. So I'm gonna show you guys this one. Um, but it is in Birchwood Brandy. It's, ooh. it's in Birchwood Brandy. These smell absolutely amazing. And I figured these were reusable too after you use up the candle. So cute. And they're seven bucks. Um, okay. I'm trying to move stuff over. But I got a lot of I got a lot of stuff surrounding me. And a lot of stuff behind me that you can't see. Or in front of me, I should say, behind you guys. All right, so Big Lots has a lot of Mr. Not Mr. Teal's, Dr. Teal stuff. So I got the moisturizing bath and body oil. It's in their new ca uh, cannabis sativa hemp seed oil line, and these were five bucks. All of their stuff was five bucks from Dr. Teal's. I also got the Relax and Relief with Eucalyptus and Spearmint. It is their. This is the body, a foaming bath. Sorry. So I got one of these ones. Ooh. And then I got the Dr. Teal's foot cream with pure Epsom salt and moisturize and soften with aloe and shea butter. Then I got the Dr. Teal's just a pure Epsom salt to soaking solution, also in eucalyptus. So this was also five bucks. Let me take a look around me. Let's see what I got over here. And I do just have, oh, let me show you. I have a bunch more of these. I think I have five more of these. I can't find the, there it is, it's hiding. So I did get another five of these to put with stuff. These are very, very good. Um, all right, so let me, let me get this stuff. So I have been also collecting some stuff from BoxyCharm that I've gotten. Um, it, for those of you who don't know what that is, it is a monthly subscription. The subscription I chose is the one that's based on um, beauty and skincare. So one of the first things that I thought would be absolutely perfect, it's a cute little makeup makeup bag that we could use. It's by the brand Poolside New York. And I'm sorry, I don't know the price of any of this stuff. I really wish I did, but I don't know this um, the prices of any of that, but I'm sure you could look it up online. Then I had the Volition Hibiscus Unspottable Correcting Oil. Um, I have a lot of stuff in here that I personally don't use, so I figured it would just be a cute little gift. I'm not 100% sure which of the stuff we're actually gonna put in the baskets, but very cute. Um, then I have this jewelry case. 
very very cute um, it's in the brand Millie and then I have some little little makeup brushes and uh, Glamier or from the brand Glamier and these are so stinking cute like look at that they're so cute And then here is just some eyeliner, just liquid eyeliner, brand queen. This I thought was really interesting. I got this in my latest box. It's the Booty Drops by Frank Body. I have never heard of these before, but they look interesting. So, you know, whoever tries them out, let me know. Then to go with the brushes, I just got the brush cleaners by the brand Lavish. And let's see. I have a couple of these multivitamin masks. Um, I've actually tried a few of myself. They came in a whole like set, but these are pretty good. Um, they're just those giant face masks that you put on your face. Very good. Then I have the, it's just a setting powder by Beauty Bakery. All their stuff smells really good. And I also found this actually kind of interesting. It is the Pen Pal 4-in-1 Makeup Pen. So you have in here an eyeliner, a highlighter, a lip pencil, and a brow pencil all in one. So it's like those little colored pencils, or rather pens, that we used to have in elementary school. Um, I remember I loved those. So I thought that was pretty cool that they came up with it, but just like makeup style. Then I have a nice little collagen serum. Let's put it right here. By the brand skin ink and then i have a, a banana souffle moisture cream from glow recipe this stuff smells absolutely amazing like you can literally smell it out the box and then i have icy sorbet primer in uh, touch and soul i believe that's the brand but very very cute packaging I also have a Whipped Greens Oil-Free uh, Foaming foaming Cleanser in Pharmacy. I have one of their moist moisturizers and I really, really like this brand. Then um, I've also tried this one before. It is the Flight Mode Skin Care. It is a high altitude hydration mask. Sorry, the glare is horrible, but we're working with it. Then I have the Jekka Black Hydrate Primer. <laughs> And let's see, I have a few other things in here. I have a mascara in All Night Bender. And then I have the Basic Beauty, it's a lip, little lip oil. And a, what brand is this? I think it's in the brand Mally. It's a gel waterproof liner. So just a couple of liners, a couple of moisturizers. Um, and then this is what I'm excited about. It is a Violet Boss All of You Forever makeup palette. It has all like the darker, more like fall type shades. Um, this palette is absolutely beautiful. Let me show you guys if I can get it out of its packaging. But I don't want to completely, you know, open it up. But this palette is so, so pretty. It has just all those dark, like, mauve colors, olive colors. Very, very, very pretty palette. And then I also have one last palette that I am going to be giving away. It is a Cab Cosmetics Day and Night palette. And this one, I'll show you what it looks like. It is just a bunch of like cool tones. So this one's also a very, very pretty palette. And these ones actually, they kind of smell like chocolate. If I'm not, yeah, I don't, I'm not, I don't think I'm mistaken. Those definitely smell like chocolate. Okay. All right, and then one last thing that I have, oh, if I can get this to close. One last thing that I have in here is the Guardian Angel Revitalizing Eye Gels. So that is everything that I have personally bought. Um, now, what I could do is let me get some stuff out of the way and I could show you what else my sister-in-law has gotten. Um, 
there's a lot of stuff. So I'm just going to show you a few different things we bought. I'm not going to show you everything just because some of this stuff is mainly just going like in the um, little gift favors um, as like little decoration pieces. But I'm going to just show you some other things that we picked up. So one of the things, she actually had a cute little idea. So you could put, make a little gift basket out of this. So it's just like a little cake box, a little pie box. You could actually put so much stuff in here and it's like, you know, just like a mini mini little gift basket. I thought that was a very cute idea. All right, let me, let me look behind me. So there's a couple of those. She thought it would be very cute for the gift favor bags to put these on there. They're the chalkboard tags, but you can put them as like little name tags. So I thought that was very cute. There's a whole bunch of, let me show you. So in here, she has a whole bunch of like little like glitter ribbons. She has some gold ones, some green ones. Just a whole bunch of fun little stuff that we can use as decorations. And then in here, she also found like this cute little little basket that could be also a party uh, favorite basket that is very, very cute. Um, and then let's see. There's paper worms in here, but I don't know where they went. Yeah, I don't know where they went. There's a bunch more of those like little gift tags. I thought these were really cute too. But I think that is everything. Um, so I really appreciate you guys for those that have sticked around to the end or I should say stuck around to the end. Um, if you have any ideas of any other things we could possibly put together, feel, feel free to please leave it in the comments down below. Um, and like I mentioned at the very end, I am going to show you guys how the gift favors and the gift baskets turned out when they're all put together. But until next time, I really appreciate you guys. Uh, let me know what you think of everything down below and I will see you in my next vlog. Bye-bye.